So here we are, what is it, Saturday morning? Saturday morning. And one of the little boogers started crying and I got up. I'm not sure if they were fighting, so I got up and little wasn't, she acted like she wasn't there. Fred let them out of their little enclosure. You guys, I have totally redone their closure. Now we let them hunt to get their bugs, but they don't necessarily need bugs. Okay, they'll eat everything. They don't, they never get full. They never get full. Full, the little suckers they let me rephrase that they never get full and you can't understand how entertaining that's gonna hurt you're not gonna understand how entertaining they are and it's so silly that watching chickens are like watching toddlers they're silly they're crazy they do stuff dumbass crap that make you go like get out of there or do something but there's little scavengers I'm telling you they never stop eating and it's bugs or carne asada and mine are spoiled you guys, let me show you what we have done to their chicken coop. Fred's gonna bring up another, um, oh, look at you guys. I just got a wild mushroom from my yard and they're called filled mushrooms. This one is edible. It's got brown gills. So I love when I find mushrooms that are in my yard. Okay, so their fence has this netting all the way around it. If you guys can see, I got this from up in auctions. I have to put up some more stuff over here. Get to my boo. Okay, so inside their uh, chicken coop. So this was a uh, lemongrass, a giant lemongrass, and they pulverized it in one day. We tried it again, they pulverized it in one day. So I'm not exactly sure what flower this one is, but um, they, uh, they're, they leave it alone. We have a trail, tri trial, trial. This is a rain gutter, and I have water dripping in there continuously, so they have water. Um, this was a honeysuckle, I believe, or I don't even know, you guys, I don't know plant. But I bought this at Home Depot, so that way they'd have some greenery in here and dig. Um, they don't need it, thank goodness. They have permanent food here. Here's some of their food, but we have permanent worms and food there, so they never go hungry. This is actually their, their bed. Here's their chicken coop. Let's see, you guys can see, here's their chicken coop. I bought this years and years and years ago for um, $30. But this is just, I, we never closed the fence anymore, so that way they could go in here. But it'll probably be easier to see because I'm going with the sun. I just went and bought this plant also at Home Depot uh, so they could have greenery in here. Chickens like to take dirt baths. So um, over here is supposed to be all dirt. Oddly, I have not been able to find just plain dirt. I can find potting soil, but I cannot find just plain dirt. So this is supposed to be their dirt area. And on this side of the aviary, it's closed too. So the whole entire run, this is like eight feet. Now you guys can see it. This is like eight feet by uh, 50, 50 feet. And this is, they have a enclosure, Jasmine, thank you. That one potato plant is will bloom most of the year. Uh, I don't think that one is a potato plant, uh, uh, Flory, because I have another potato plant. But this is, um, we added some more uh, wood up here. Like I said, I've been trying to find just plain dirt, this kind of dirt, without the rocks. I can't find it. So yeah, you can get potting soil. They don't necessarily like to bathe in the potting soil. So, and then uh, we have a little branch up here. This is a perching station just for them to sit here and perch. Uh, Fred's got a log down there that we're gonna put up here. But look at how cool. I mean, they have like a little mini mansion inside here um, that they get to roam. This is where they hang out on Wednesdays and Thursdays. You can see the little flowers. How cute are they? So, um, yeah. We bought this one just recently so that way they could have another plant up here and I can make it look pretty. But they go up inside their little uh, their little house. I had to figure out a way to get this over on top and I had put uh, Crown Royal pulleys and um, I dragged it over. So if I have to take it down, I just cut the pulleys and come on this side and pull it down. But they have permanent food, they have permanent water. So somebody had asked me, you know, Tracy, why did you do eggs? Um, I'm telling you right now, and I'm telling you with all of my heart, if you're getting chickens, it is not savings. 
if you get chickens, you don't buy chickens so you can save money on eggs. That is the biggest farce in the whole wide world. If you're getting chickens, it is one of the most biggest expenses. I'm almost at 2000 for my chicken coop on everything I did. This came from my uh, kitchen ceiling. We took out my lights, and I'm going to make an art piece. I'll show you guys this later on what it is. That's my little chicken trash. Um, and you guys, I was trying to do the whole entire hill with boxes because uh, to get rid of the weeds but um, we live too windy. It's way too windy here and I can't keep them down. I tried coat hangers and everything. So you guys, I have a van full of boxes that I'm gonna take them to recycling. I wanted to show you guys, that's all my recycling right there. I wanted to show you guys uh, my new backyard or my new, okay, Fred says that this side of the patio is, uh, pets, Fred says that this side of the patio is first class and over here is coach. <laughs> So, oh, well, there goes Boo. I got a mushroom, you guys, from my yard, and this is edible. Um, so we're going to put this little chicken, we're going to put this little um, tree stump up there as a perching station. I like that little tree stump. But, you guys, I had gotten this from Upland Auction. I had gotten this from Upland Auction, and yesterday I got cushions out here. Back there is my uh, my outdoor grill that I got from Upland Auctions for $30. So now we have uh, another seating another seating section here, the outdoor grill. So when we're grilling, we can comfort. And we got the patio furnitures out here. These were given to me from a gentleman at Upland Auction. Uh, they're pit lanterns. We were out here last night. It is so sexy. It is really, really sexy. Um, very, I just, oh, I like the way things are coming along. Got my uh, arbor from Upland Auction. You can see the, the the chickens have two sets of food. When they're down here, they like to sit over there by my uh, doggy door. So they get the dried birds and the, they get the dry bugs and some fresh water and a corn and their scratch every single day because we have to bribe those little uh, the little turkeys. <laughs> we have to bribe the little, the little flock of flizzers to uh, stop eating my garden. So my garden is complete. I got all the trees that I want. And I've got my fruits, I got my vegetables, I got everything that I want, but they're pulverizing it. So like some of my plants, the leaves are just coming back. You can see some of my uh, peppers, the, the, they ate them. They ate them. Yeah, chickens, chickens are not cheap. And I wanted to show you guys, okay, these solar panels, um, they do work. They do work on the average. My pool is 80 degrees now uh, versus in the 50s or 60s. I'm so proud. Yeah, this has gotten too messy. No matter what I tried, that the you can see the little the metal uh, stakes I did. They're not holding down the boxes. So we're going to take the boxes to recycling today. You guys, I'm trying. After 20 years in my backyard, I'm freezing because I heard my chickens either fight or and I was like, "What the heck is that?" And I jumped out of bed and I'm freezing my butt off. Uh, looky, 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 you guys. Okay, we got a cluster, we got the plums, we got limes, we got limes. My garden is coming along. For a person who can barely walk, who deals with Edler's Danlows, I'm so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself because I'm getting stuff done. I'm getting stuff accomplished. Oh, I also want to show you guys this. Check out this. I think they're edible. Um, look, 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 look. I know this one's edible because it has the brown gills. Look at also little teeny tiny mushrooms so um i think those are edible too so we got one two three edibles i i think these mushrooms are edible too i know these ones are because i've eaten them uh they're called filled mushrooms but i'm not sure if these ones are you know we're gonna pluck them and then we're gonna look at them we're gonna google them they are tiny i love my homegrown mushrooms they have a, such a big better flavor uh, so if you guys know if these ones, yeah, I think as long as they all have, uh, as long as they have brown gills, they're edible. Yep, my little, I was always saying, I wish I could, because I like zucchini, mushrooms, and onions. And I do not, yeah, well, I kind of do grow my own onions. If you guys have never known, if you guys have never known, let me show you and trip out. If you take spring onions and just leave the roots, if you take spring onions and just leave the roots, and you put them in water, they will grow. They will grow. This one needs, that one needs some love. Oh, hold on. That one needs some love. Ah, you guys, got the pee scared out of me because my chickens made a noise. 
Okay, you guys, we're going to go to Upland Auction today. One of Fred's friends um, bought a table saw from Upland Auctions, and we're going to go there, and I'm going to give them a tour of the warehouse. So we're going to go to Upland Auction today. It's not an auction day. We're going to go there at noon just to give a tour of the warehouse and show um, and let him pick and stuff so that way um, on Wednesday he can get whatever he wants. He got a table saw, a giant table saw for $50, you guys. He's like, I'm in. And he just handed me $100. He's like, here's for it. I'm like, let's go tomorrow and pick it up. So I called the owner, and I'm like, okay, we're, we're headed over there. I'm bringing customers. So today at noon, I'm going to be at Upland Auctions. Come take a tour. Show me what you want. I can show you if we already text, if we already bid it off. And then if it's already been bid off, you guys can buy it as is. Saving money, saving money, saving money. Hugs and kisses, you guys, for vision. I'm going to do photo restores. I'm sending off my pit sister's pictures today. I had a client. I have a... T now I'm working at her vision today. Today will be her vision and cooking. Okay, you guys. Hugs and kisses. Sorry, I just woke up. So, yeah, I got screamed. I got scared by my cheeky, cheeky chickens. Okay, you guys. See you later. And uh, have a great Saturday. Bye.